Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cinema Suds with your host, Bryce. Carson. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Ozark. Ozark. Uh, Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. And whatever else we're going to talk about today. Pretty much anything. Th- those uh, are going to cover everything for now. Our quarantine right. shows. Yeah. <laughs> what are your favorite? You know, please do that. Actually, before we get started, drop your favorite quarantine shows in the in the comments below, please. please. I, we'd like to. We'd love to see yeah. some. We just. I just watched uh, Twenty Eight Days Later for the first time a while. A little just er, just recently, actually. So. Yeah. Uh, we've like been that. taking extra precautions. Um, we've been wiping down surfaces. <laughs> yeah. Um, Everything. I did Mass not wipe down these gloves. beers after we got them from the convenience store, so we're going to get the Corona. We might as well um, just be drinking Corona then. All right, go ahead and uh, um, we got two different tall boys. Um, and uh, can you introduce yours, please? So this one is uh, Fresh Haze IPA. It's in uh, any appeal. It's uh, Deschutes. <sighs> Looks like is what it says. Um, Deschutes. Deschutes. Brewed in Oregon. 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 I wouldn't be brewed in it. looks like a, a German beer or something like a yeah. German name. It's as old as my older sister. That's a German name. Is that good? <clears throat> Doesn't I'm really practicing. About. Intensely juicy, irresistibly hazy, freshly squeezed. No fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. Good. Hilarious. I'm Those glad. fucking comedians. You know, um, you know, I'm vegetarian. Um, there's a lot of vegans out there saying they don't want to eat living things. But isn't grass and... Um, all of these other things, don't they have living beings inside of them? Of course. Them? Yeah. I mean, they've, they, they did a study. There's microbes and, you yeah, know. Yeah, it says that uh, vegetables know that they're being eaten. Do they? Yeah. So, I mean, you vegans out there are fucked up yep. really bad. You get your vegetables. Uh, you, did you get that scientific study from, uh, what's the vegetable show with the Bible characters? Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. It's actually not Bible uh, anymore, they don't do the Christian crap anymore. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know they were still going. <laughs> yeah, it got bought now out. Gay. So now it's about morals. Yeah, they're now, now gay. It's, it's gay. Yeah, Larry's gay with pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Larry the cucumber. <laughs> Took a wild turn. Uh, yeah, very okay. strange. Uh, and I'm going to be drinking drinking Death shoots. Oh, it is. It's another. Yes, dish. it's it's their other version of the IPA. This one's a fresh haze. What what is that? It's fresh squeezed. Fresh squeeze. Uh, but it actually could be Fresh Hades. This is the same brewery, of course, uh, Oregon. Um, it's employee-owned since 1988. Yeah. This one is 60 IBUs, 6.4 alcohol by volume. And let me just go down the line real quick. Impossibly juicy. Undeniably refreshing. <laughs> freshly squeezed. No fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. L-O-L. Same thing. Wow. Um. That is epic. Very large. I'm glad they make tall boys, and I'm glad they're in the grocery store in yeah. a quick trip. Seriously. Thank you. Thanks, quick trip. Let's put this up here. For... Ah, my hand's slipping. All right, a little sniff before we pour. It smells like beer. It smells like alcohol to me. Uh, and we also have uh, the everyday beer, Budweiser. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get right in front of it. Well, I was trying to, but then I just made the head too big. Oh, yeah. So, uh... This is, this fits perfectly in this glass. This is what this was made for. Don't drink... Let's not drink these 12-ounce beers in this class ever again. We're getting tall boys... <laughs> from now on. From now on. That makes sense. Uh, so your head was big. Um, yeah, big and fat. I was trying to make it sound good, but in the end, I just kind of. Mine is a pretty good head. It's huh. got some Hillary. Yours is a little it. darker than mine. Let me see. All right. Well, let's uh, clink it and sink it and uh, see how they go. Yeah, mine is dark, quite a bit dark. I think mine's going to be a little bit more. Here, here, here's my here's mine's my... forty five IBUs. So okay, so it's, yours going to be a little bit more uh, uh, juice, uh, juicy. You're going to have a little more citrus in yours. Right. Uh, I think mine's going to be more hop. It's going to be more. Straight IPA, and yours is going to be more juicy yeah, IPA. Definitely. All right, let's try. All right, let's go. All right. Let's do it. <coughs> clink Coronavirus. It and, clink it and sink it. Mm. I got oh. a fat drink of that head, so I can't really – it's not like something I got to judge on based on the first. Uh, it's interesting. Woo. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I wouldn't say it's amazing. Tastes like a beer. Um, tastes like an I. Uh, yeah, it tastes like something you would you drink. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tastes like something I drink. Tastes like something I drink. Uh, it's got I'm probably going to end up pounding it, though. Yeah. I bet yours is pretty, uh, pretty it's juicy. It's okay. Yeah. I'd let you, you taste it. You want to lick the rim? Uh, give each other a, a rim job on the, on the glass? So, Don't tempt um, me. we usually review these beers. I would say one out of uh, 500 coronavirus strains, I'd give this like a 200. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give this definitely four corona mutations out of the 20 that are going to happen. Yeah. And it has to mutate. So, that, like, that's what they were saying is that the coronavirus mutated because A, it had to have been first trans, uh, uh, Transmitted between ooh, transmitted between an animal, right? And so it a mutated human. to a human, for and human then it had to mutate again in right. order to transmit from a human to a human. And my guess would be that it would have to have transmitted once more, or, mm. or uh, uh, morphed once more, because now that there's reports of people testing positive who tested negative after testing positive, right? So they're testing positive again, and I don't know if it's just like a false positive or. We're, we're getting stuck on coronavirus again, but... Well, I, I mean, it's what's happening it's what's in the happening. world right now, so... Coronavirus. Yeah, coronavirus. It's, what's it's real people, I think. I don't know. Yeah. We should have been, <laughs> I'm like, not a fucking campaign doctor. managers for coronavirus. No shit. Coronavirus. I will tell you, though, my dad believes, and he's no fucking authority... Sure. But, uh... No, he's not. Okay. He thinks that like there's that. multiple strands that uh, that are, like, different levels of... I'm sure. Yeah, ones you know, that affect pa- you like, differently. Like some people get it, and they're like, like some oh, of the I got kids. coronavirus, and then it doesn't really affect them. And then someone else could get the could get the stronger version and yeah. just fucking wipe them out. Which who knows? You know? Well, I mean, there was a kid here in Tulsa that uh, worked for Quick Trip and uh, looked to be in decent health. I mean, he didn't look like a bodybuilder, but he just right. looked like a regular guy. Sure. Um, Twenty two years old, and Jesus. he unfortunately passed away. So wow. You know, and overall, he was healthy, had no underlying conditions. And they're just folks like that that, that happens to. And then sure. Tom Hanks gets it, and the world ends. <laughs> Fuck you, Tom Hanks. That was the night that, that I think everybody realized, like, shit was going down, was when the Thunder, that thing happened at the Thunder Court where that the player tested positive. Then the NBA announced they were suspending the season, and then Tom Hanks came out and said, hey, I'm in Australia, me and my wife have coronavirus. Right. When Tom Hanks says it, America's dad... TV dad. <laughs> America's dad. Yeah. When he says he has it, you know, it's it's bad. So yeah. um, Tom Hanks isn't in any of these uh, films that I think we're about to talk, or uh, shows that we're about no, to talk about, no, but no. our quarantine shows. Uh, you got me on Altered Carbon. Yeah. That's a good one. I'm really working good. on it. And you're and, on Ozark. Yeah, you got me in Ozark. So and you're I'm working in, on it. I've just finished the first season of Ozark. And uh, what, you finished the first season of Ultra Carbon? Uh, we are a decent ways through it. I don't know how far. And I, I gotcha. tuned out for the last episode, so I need to go back. Because that's a show that, for me, it's already been hard to wrap my head around. Okay, here. You know, you have the book, so <clears throat> tell me how close I am to knowing what's going on. Sure. And even, I mean, e- at least in the first season. Like, right. not the end of the first season. No plot twist, like, oh, you're going to learn this later. Like, what I've learned to now, right, is that, okay, and I, I'm... I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, and I haven't done any research into this, so please, correct away. In this world, or in this version of a world, right? Right. Each person can have their data in their mind, or whatever, their person, on a, and let me go, and then you can completely correct me, Mm -hmm. on a chip that is in the back of basically their neck. And if they die... Their flesh and the chip isn't harmed, then that chip can be taken out of them and put into another surrogate body um, who can do whatever. Right. Now, um, I know season two just came out, so I'm behind when I'm explaining this because I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And I just want to say, first off, what I've seen the, you know, the first two episodes of the second season. I haven't really got into it yet. Yeah. Because I honestly don't really like Anthony Mackie that much. And I'm sorry, the lead Anthony, actor. Yeah, I, I just, I saw you. He was in that. What's that fucking movie where Col- the girl's by herself on Earth? Um, you mean the movie? Yeah, the movie we watched, all of us together. She's by herself on Earth, and he comes in a fucking like balloon. What? She's by herself, like her dad is off or whatever, and she's all alone. And they're like trying to get her to go to space or some shit. Oh, you know what I'm no. talking about, <laughs> dude? We just watched at your house, like. I probably was asleep. Um, All right, I so do that. Anthony I Mackie co-starred in this movie. I don't know who the lead is. 
I don't remember who it is. But uh, Anthony Mackie, yeah, he co-stars. And I just, I don't know. There's something holy fake about his acting. It's just I think so... he's good at certain roles. There was, a, there was a couple other ones that I've seen him in. There was a show on HBO or Netflix or one of the ones that you watch shows on. Right. No, it was on Amazon Prime. Okay. And it was about some girl that had these kind of special powers that he trained um, in the woods for a long time. And it was like his daughter that he adopted. Oh, but he my really, gosh. He, really, he got I her I know what from... you're talking about. I'm talking about Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. Right. You're talking about you're talking about the lead in the first season. I'm talking about the second season. Oh, there's another lead. The guy who plays Hawkeye in the Avengers. Oh, I hate that guy. Anthony Mackie. Yeah. I don't He's hate him. He's not good in the I Avengers either. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I just He's think... a use. That's a... Hawkeye is the most useless he character. He is Takeshi Kovach in the second one. Oh. That's the sleeve that they have. Oh. That is a big okay. fucking mosquito. So, Takeshi Kovach. I thought Takeshi... Okay, anyway. So, the part that falls apart from... So, I'm going back to my <clears throat> understanding of Ultra Carpenter at this point. Um, Takeshi, of course, is in that body. Now, that body that they're in, the, 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 you know what I'm talking about, the guy in the first season, the main lead in the first season, the, the, the sleeve right, yeah. that he is in. He's in a lot of other shows. Yeah, he's in um, what you were talking about was Hannah. Hannah. Was Hannah. Hanna. Hanna, yes. Yeah. Um, so I've seen that. And The Killing, <laughs> uh, which I do like that, that show as well. The Killing, I haven't seen that. It's, I've, I've it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best. I think the ending was weird. But, like, it's a fine show to get into for I a while. I liked Hannah, but uh, I believe it that... It needed some work. I and I don't know what I... he gave that role up to go... The, the Takeshi role. I think he gave it up to go pursue Hannah. Again, and they're going to do another season. No, no, no. Oh. They are doing another season of Hannah. Uh, oh, but what, what I'm saying is, oh, this is this was he, made a while back. He anyway. gave up his role for Altered Carbon season two to go film Hannah. Oh, okay. Which I think was a dumb fucking move, dude. You yeah, were perfect dumb move. as Takeshi Koba. I, I think it was dumb. I think Hannah was great because he made it really good. Yeah. But uh, spoiler alert: he dies at the end of fucking Hannah. What the fuck, dude? You gave up yeah. the whole your a whole possible long list of seasons yeah. for Altered Carbon for one fucking show that you die at the end of? Get yeah. the fuck out of here, dude. Hannah was weird. It had its ups and downs. It's like yeah. it had me really into it for a little bit, and then some of it's like, uh, what? And then uh, anyway, so okay. My understanding of him and Altered Carbon, his sleeve. Right. His the sleeve that he was in, that sleeve wasn't the reason he was able to get into that sleeve was because that sleeve was a prisoner or something to an extent and was it was uh, he was in the water like the sleeves have to be submerged in water right, or something the sleeves come in like a like this gel yeah and that's you know it's basically like putting them in a womb over again so okay um the sleeve but what do you what what does it take for you to get into a sleeve so they like, just to get your body into a sleeve like, like your mind no 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 uh no 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 like the sleeve that he was put into uh huh the person who was that sleeve before, or, mm -hmm. like, or that body, right? What like they stacked him because he went to jail. Or he had to serve time. So, do you okay. know who? Do you know whose sleeve it is? Have they told you yet? Um, I, I, I'm under the understanding that he's he is he was with the cop. His sleeve was with the cop before. Right. Before whatever happened, it was like her. Boyfriend, I think. Yeah, and but then he, they end up fucking again. Right. Like, well, Takeshi I mean, fucks her in the, the sleep. How the fuck does she resist? You know, her boyfriend's body's walking around. Yeah, and he and he can kick everyone's ass. Yeah, so. pretty much. Um. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> that was like the weird thing for me, and I was like, how do you get into the point of being a body ready to receive a chip? You know what I'm right, saying? So uh, if the stack just, you know, something the stack malfunctions and they lose it, um, which. Is it doesn't really happen, and the reason they call it altered carbon is because of the uh, that's the material they use for the stacks. They found yeah. some like ancient alien material, and that's what allows them to use stacks. Got it. Um, so yeah, you got to go to like the prison. You got to do so some bad shit, the or other... they can clone sleeves too. Okay. Yeah. I uh, yes. Okay, I get it. Um, and that's what they did with. So whenever he gets put, Takeshi gets put into that body, and the reason Takeshi got put into that body, that sleeve, yeah. was because Takeshi before that sleeve um, was in trouble with them for doing whatever yeah, and got shot, got put into it, and now he's basically serving this, he's basically on parole 
uh, and, and then he gets right. this uh, he gets this guy Bancroft living way him. up. Yeah, buys him to to investigate his own murder. Who we figure out that his son made a copy of him. Oh, that's where you're at. Well, uh, yeah, you're further than that. You're getting I'm close further to finishing. I'm further than that. His son made it for a copy of him. Right. Uh, and and so the problem that I'm having is that they they he's like, okay, I think I figured it out. So they all go meet up in the big room, you know, and he's like, I think this happened, and he like lets him talk it out. Right. Uh, and it's it's okay. It's like a clue moment. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. it felt like. It it's felt like, like I was in clue. He's like, <laughs> what? And then, Bancroft, and then everybody's like learning things. I love that part. Bancroft snaps and he grabs that fire place poker and then he just yes. starts wailing on his sleeves <laughs> face which is fucking fantastic yeah. there's gore everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah and he's just like so because everyone thought he was pain. gonna like kill somebody in the room but he just like beats the shit out of right, that sleeve yeah. yeah um okay so i'm caught up for you so i'm mentally there with you on that i think i just need to get sucked back into that where are you on ozark ozark um so like i said ozark season three uh just dropped uh maybe a couple of weeks ago uh, maybe like a month ago, uh, and he, I told him to get on it. He hadn't watched Ozark yet. He's just through season one. Yeah, right? I finished. I got a lot of shit to do, you know. <laughs> so much. Yeah, I know we're in quarantine, but I've got a lot of crap to. A lot of shows. A lot of shows. I've got a lot of you know Movies. gaming, Twitch editing, music writing, just a bunch of shit that I'm getting into right now. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, learning Japanese. I've literally got like my hands full of shit. I think I'm turning Japanese. <laughs> hey, you better not, man. I'm gonna be cheating really on my girlfriend. So. Um. <laughs> um. So she yeah, Ozark. Japanese guys. I think that. I think what is her name? R- Ruth. Ruth. I think yep. she is my favorite Who? character so um, far. Yeah. At the, and from the and first my season. views change, but I, I and I think the cool thing about this is, without giving anything away to you, is that you start to. There's different characters that you start to like at different times. So it's not like you like it's not like Breaking Bad where like you really like Jesse pretty much the whole time until like maybe like the last season. I didn't love seeing the last. Okay, sorry guys, uh we had to cut back in twice. You didn't see the second That's time. Twice this is now. the second time. Um, I uh, forgot to press record. Amateur Amateur shit. Know. Oh, I was talking about that. What is it? The blue cat or? So Jesse Pinkman. Um, we're talking. I was talking about Breaking Bad and how Jesse reminds me a little bit of Ruth and Ozark because, uh, in really, Ozark reminds me a lot about Breaking Bad uh, mm. with a lot of its characters. Skylar looking reminiscent of uh, Marty Bird's wife, and then uh, you know, of course, Marty Bird somewhat reminiscent of. Uh, I guess, Walter. but I but I, not really. I they're, like they're, Brian they're Cranston. I like Brian Cranston, but yeah. I think that Jason Bateman's just a better actor. Jason Bateman's uh, incredible. I think that he wrote this. Did not? Did he not? I don't know. Uh, I he's he, incredible. I don't know. I I, I know I he's wanna, a writer. I don't want to get. He writes shit, so. I don't want to. Um, I don't. Think I don't want to fuck Brian Cranston. Brian anymore. Cranston he was great. is not a bad actor. I just think that I thought he was amazing. Jason Bateman's a better one. And don't get me wrong, I love. What Breaking was the Bad. part uh, when he was in the uh, he was in the parking lot with his groceries? Or like, like it was probably like maybe halfway through the season uh, or halfway through the series, right? And he's in the cart, like bringing something back, and he just tells some guy off. Oh, I remember because and, he's uh, walking into the Home Depot and he sees the guy, and the guy's got a bunch of matched boxes, and the guy's looking at him, and he's like, he's like, you don't want the matches for the tips. You want the you want the regular matches with the wooden matches for the striker strips. That's what you want. Yeah. And the guy's like. <laughs> and he fucking just runs off and Walter's like whatever so he finishes his shop and he goes out there he sees them talking together and he walks up and he's like uh, I don't know what does he say I don't he's, know he's, he's like uh, he's like this is my fucking territory oh or something that's what he tells he's yeah. like this is my territory I don't want to see you sell actually I think the shit. part that really sold me on his character what Walter's character was when uh, they go oh. to get that crystal meth from that fucking guy uh, t- uh, t- uh, t- Tuco uh, Tuco and they go up in the top, like the second and he floor of that blows building, them and he up. blows it <laughs> yeah. up, dude. That was awesome, dude. That was great. Um, that if was that really didn't make you like good. Breaking Bad, I don't know what did. I loved. Uh, I liked Tuco's death. Man, you haven't watched Better Call Saul, have you? Better Call? Uh, no, I've started it. I've got a couple episodes. I in, but think. I, uh, no, I'll be honest with you. I think it's better than Breaking Bad. I'm not even kidding. I think it's better than Breaking Bad. I just love fucking <sighs> Saul. I just love his fucking origin story. Yeah. The whole build up, that's crazy. The thing with his brother, it's it's all it's all a huge fucking roller coaster. And the fourth season just came out on Netflix. Oh fuck! Yeah, it's really you have to watch it, dude. You watch Breaking Bad, you gotta watch. If nothing else, watch that. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I, it's you one should. of those things I always forget. You know, it's so fucking um, good. 
because you're talking about Skylar and and the the chick that Saul is with. She's supposed to kind of be like a Skylar, but she's kind of like a bad bad guy too. You know, yeah. like she's she's on that That's shady cool. shit too. Yeah. So it is. It's it's kind of like, like Marty Bird's I, it, wife. It did. It did. Yeah. Almost, you know. But those things, and I don't, I don't know if they pulled from each other. They're just being compared <laughs> to one Marty another. But Marty Bird's like, think about like you and and Rista being like, all of a sudden, just you just tell her like, hey, I'm I'm smuggling I'm in, drugs. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking deep. die if you don't help me. We're both gonna die. And then she becomes and then she more badass than me. Buckles down and it yeah. fucking just helps the fuck out of you. And you guys comes more it. badass than me. Is there a mosquito in here? Uh, maybe. I saw a fucking big ass one yeah. earlier. It's in your drink now. Just drink it. It'll be, it'll be a part of you. Pure fucking protein. <laughs> protein. <laughs> 0.01 grams. Mm. Um, but like all the shit that's happening in Ozark, like Ruth rigging the fucking like docks for the oh, yeah. fucking rednecks, and then the whole like she homosexual a- FBI agent she killed him, right? Yeah, Electrocuted him. him. Yeah, yeah, electrocuted him. Um, it's been a while since I saw the first. The season. FBI yeah. agent that's a homosexual with the fucking like bearded redneck guy. They were oh my god, together. yes. You know, it's wild. They threw a bunch like, of plot twists in there. <laughs> you know what? You know what I felt? I was just like, okay, what's up with this like homosexual arc? Yeah. And then it goes through all of this, and then he breaks his heart. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't like a huge fan of this arc because of the homosexual stuff. I just, yeah. I'm just not into it. And then it's like, I, I'm like, okay, I ship it. You know, the, the the guy with the beard is happy, and he's like, let's go, let's just leave together, yeah. let's just go make fucking like fishing tackle together. Yeah. And he's like. I'm an FBI agent, and I'm fucking <laughs> And it's just like, what the fuck? You just broke this guy's heart, dude. He was falling right? in love with you, you piece of shit. And you know, you know this guy's a fucking heartbreaker because the other FBI agent, the, the African-American one, is was is like his ex-boyfriend oh, yeah. or whatever. For sure. And he fucking and liked like, it, too. <laughs> and he's, like, obsessed with them or something. Yeah. He's always trying to, like, be there with them, and I don't know. It's fucking nuts. He's like, he's like, you were thinking with your dick. That's what you were doing. I was just so, like, damn. Right? And <laughs> I, Ozark um, is supposed to be a real place um, in Missouri, right? I believe is it's it? like a lake. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The Ozarks? Yeah, the Ozarks. Uh, well, we, we're next to the Ozark. Um, there's like a mountain range and that goes from here, uh, uh, eastern Oklahoma to Arkansas. It's really? like the Ozark uh, Mountains or whatever. No then, clue. But they, they have a, like a lake. Anyway, um, I know all yeah. of those, all the tra- like the, the trailers that Ruth and her cousins and whoever the hell stays out there in. It's hilarious because they're all like right there, right on the edge of the lake. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know? Like it's like everybody's lakeside. Yeah, everyone's lakeside. That yeah, lives everyone's there. like ten minutes from. The everyone's lake. like it's just like this lake house Ugh. community where all this shit is going yeah. down. And, and then the fucking the old guy that lives in the basement. Uh, who rented the yes, house? Yes, the the one who rented the house. Yeah, yeah he uh, he's up there, and the Mexican guy comes up there. And uh, the kid's got his fucking gun that has no bullets in it, and he fires. And he's just like, you were going to fucking... And he's just, like, got a shotgun. The old guy. He's great. And he fucking blows him away. <laughs> he's great, dude. I was like, fuck yeah. Um, yeah, I love him as a character. So we, we, we've done Ozark. We've done uh, Breaking Alter. Bad, actually. All Breaking Carbon. Bad, yeah. Um, anything else that you're seeing? Like I said, we just got done with... Um, uh, Waco, and that was uh, a year Waco. too old, and it's just about Waco. Yeah, I've know. seen that. It's pretty good. There's a lot of... Uh, no, we're gonna move this. Oh, I bet that looks good on you. There There's a lot of, uh, a lot of weird stuff about that Waco thing. There's yeah. a lot of like uh, yeah controversy that I've heard behind it. Isn't so there? apparently what Krista was telling me is that each episode is shot according to someone someone's point of view that wasn't the same person. So it's not right. the same person's account doesn't go for each episode. Mm-hmm. Each episode in Waco is <clears throat> shot from someone's account of what happened. Right, exactly. So that's and why so there's so that's many continuity so, errors. Yes. Yeah. And that's the problem that critics have with it is that, oh, A, okay, so if anyone unfamiliar, right, it's a church cult, not really a church, it's a cult basically where they all live out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere in Waco, Waco Texas. Texas. <laughs> yeah. And no running water or no something crazy, like no running water yeah, or something. Yeah, they didn't have like a bunch of utilities. Did you watch this shit. show? Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. It was a long time ago when I, when I watched crazy. it. That's crazy. Um, and they, and I thought the actors, actors were good. And the reason I say, the reason I bring up Waco is because Ruth is in Waco. Uh, the oh, actor, really? Jenna, uh, Jen, uh, Jenna uh, starts the J. Garner? No clue. Jennifer Garner? Or, Jennifer no, not Garner. Jennifer Garner. That's not it. <laughs> Julia Garner. Julia Garner. I think that's her name. Okay. Um, she is one of the wives that he takes in the oh, cult, wow. and he How the takes fuck wives at like she? fourteen. 
Well, I is mean, she right, like a young in real kid? life, in real life, she's like 24 or 25. Right, of course. Like so, like, when they filmed in, Waco, then how old was she? Well, maybe like, 22. I don't 20, know. I'm just saying, like, like she was in her 20s. Okay. Because I'm like, she looks well, young, really young. Yeah, in, but in, in she Ozark. was supposed to have been, oh, in Ozark, yeah. She was supposed to have been in Waco, um, like, for, well, and maybe not when it started, but he took her as a wife, the cult leader, took her as a wife when he was like, when she was Yeah, because like he was fucking children. Yes, he was, she was 14. In Texas, apparently right. back in the not, early 90s, taking a wife at 14 was fine as long as her parents said it was okay. Well, her parents were in the cult, so her parents said, cool. And uh, so he was the only man right. who got to take upon the task of fucking these women. Ah, oh, man, that must have been hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in the yeah, you know, and even husbands and wives that went into this cult, the husband basically had to give up his wife to the cult leader, so the cult leader could make children and make like twelve disciples out of them. Um, I'm sorry, what's his name? Jared Leto, because <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. So anyway, just totally wild. And the reason I say that people have continuity errors is uh, because the first shot, the FBI get called over there because they do make some money for their cult doing some type of arms dealing or something, mm. um, and, and they have a large stash of arms. Now, they weren't, at least what the thing believes makes you believe to say, it's not like they were stockpiling so that they could do this sort of thing. Like, sure, yeah. Go out like that, but, uh, you know, they, they, <laughs> they got sure investigated, the and things got very crazy very yeah. quickly. Yeah. Uh, and when they get over there with the helicopter and the, and the, and the <laughs> troops and everybody, yeah. In the show, it makes mm. you believe that the FBI fired first, and which then is wrong, yeah. yeah, which a lot of people believe is wrong. It is FBI yeah. will say, "Oh no, and it was them, right?" So it's really an unknown thing. Yeah. So they're taking the account and they're kind of taking the side of the cult people. Honestly, I'm going to say probably the government fired first in that instance, probably, and I'm only saying that because more likely than not, I mean, the government covers fucking everything up, and you can't trust them anymore. So why not? But. <clears throat> It's the early 90s. It's not like we have security cameras laying around this place. Exactly. And <laughs> That's true. It's he said, she said. And uh, anyway, so she it shed. takes you through a thing. I thought he said, she said. You're she said? He said, he said she said. Um, anyway, I thought it was cool. That's what we just finished watching. Um, <clears throat> historical inac- inaccuracies aside, I thought it was actually fairly compelling. Some people thought that it didn't have enough like action in it. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I mean, yeah, they were sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting. I was waiting on some of the people in there because... Uh, Ruth's character in that show, I say Ruth, Julia Garner, whatever her name is, right. um, her character in that show didn't ever do the guy who she really liked in the show and actually technically got, ma- technically, technically got married with in the show oh, okay. just to say that they got married so they wouldn't get in trouble with the FBI and because uh, they were getting uh, investigated. Oh, good show. Right on. I thought it was good. Been a while since I've seen it. I didn't realize that that's who that was. Julia Garner. Uh, I think I have a phone. I can just look it up. Yeah, you know? both of my phones here. Are <laughs> I'm about to sneeze. We're gonna hard. <laughs> coronavirus. Jesus Christ! You just sneezed, and now coronavirus is everywhere in this shed. Damn. The whole shed is. I don't know full. what the shed is doing, but. <laughs> what about this book? Did you you sat it up here? Were you gonna? Yeah, well, uh, I'll go over it. it. No, okay. no I just you have should. It. I think you should talk about it. Uh, yeah, how many copies of the book do you have? Two. Just two. Okay. I was going to say, let me take yes. one. Her name is it. Julia Garner, and Julia. I feel very good for remembering that. Not Jennifer <clears throat> Garner. Um, Jennifer. Anyway, um, this is a book that uh, Rista and I are going to attempt to uh, voice in different accents. And, you know, I will read the underlying text. is is kind of like what you're hearing now. Uh, this is a Tulsa area author. Uh, we were asked to do his book. Well, I'm not promoting anything. I'm just letting you know right. what we're doing. Yeah, uh, and... Um, yeah, uh, it, it's about a girl. It's kind of a sci-fi book. It's supposed to be, uh, it's called The Fledgling. It's about a sci-fi story where a girl lear- learns she can fly. And there's a lot of different characters in here, different uh, nationalities, and uh, uh, so a lot of different accents. And I'm not very good at accents in going from this voice to Another voice, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I I don't I, I can't do it. Uh, uh, like Gondor, you know, like Gondor calls for aid, you know that voice, you know. Gotcha. Gondor calls for aid. But anyway, going back and forth you from accent to good, naturally. You have good a- voice acting now. 
and it, sound, but it's it's just tough because you enough. have to. It's tough because you have to. No, of when, course, and you have to remember. That's why the highlighting thing is yeah. such a big. So anyway, deal that'll be my first audio book that we attempt uh, to do, and uh, uh, it'll be it'll be fun. So anyway, that's there. We were that's we awesome. weren't here practicing earlier. That's why the book's there, um, cool. and uh, that'll be fun. It'll be a fun deal. Um, probably, you know, we'll see. Oh. It'll be fun. Yeah, you know, you're lucky to be able to do that. Lucky to be alive. It's gonna be interesting. Um, I really hope that you are what he's looking for too. Oh, that'll that... be nice. Uh, shout out to you, unknown man, <laughs> that I don't know. What but I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna what, pick what up if a this copy guy. Of the book. What if this guy was just some guy who was like, "Hey, I just get a call out of nowhere, right?" He goes, "Hey, you know, we, I'd really like you to read my book. Just come to my house." Well, he sends you to his house. His house is out in the middle of nowhere in come the on, woods. Come on, man. And then I get tortured for years. Jesus Christ. No one knows okay, where I'm at. Okay, Carson, before you go to this man's house, if you ever do, just tell me where the fuck it is. Yeah. So if you don't come back, I'll know. <laughs> you know, and this guy's, you know, hypothetically, this guy is a nice a nice rapist slash, <laughs> yeah, I get raped. Hypothetically. In this story. In this story. This guy is a He's genuinely a very nice decent rapist. rapist. This guy's not a rapist. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> This guy is a very nice rapist, That's... and he at least provides me a box spring mattress. That's nice. In and the And like cell. a giant jug yeah. with like a little hamster drink thing. Just like... Yeah, it's just got little drops that come out of it, and I have to sit there and suck on <laughs> That's it. That's fucking great. Um, I will say it would not have sheets on it, so it would be some it'd old be like one of the, bed. It would be like that white and blue yeah. striped. Yeah, like maybe floral. Right, got urine yeah. stains on it because it's yeah, like, it's, it's not my your, own it's urine not stains because they didn't give me a bucket mattress. either. Yeah, no, it's right. definitely not the first, <laughs> and it will not be the last. Right. Um, so, are you getting murdered at the end of this hypothetical? Yes, you get chopped up like. Well, yeah. Have you seen Iceman? No. Wait. No. Um, it's about like a serial killer. Actually, uh, the dude who plays Captain America is a serial killer in that movie. That's amazing. Yeah, he is one of the serial killers. I can't remember the. It's probably better at that than playing Captain America. Those 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 movies are trash. God. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. The the first ones getting into the Marvel shit was awesome. Sure, like the introduction. Every single. Even Black Panther was a good movie. I thought it was okay. Even Black Panther yeah. was a good. And then, was and then the whole the, the culmination jokes, of all of it. It's just there's so much shit and so many characters that you're trying to cover. You're just like, no thanks. Yeah. I will pass. And maybe that's the problem with Avengers for me. Because I think that's what it is for me. I'm I like Spider-Man. I didn't, I didn't know we were going to get to But Avengers. you know what the best fucking Spider-Man movie is? Which one? It's fucking Into the Spider-Verse. The uh, animated one? Yeah. Hmm. That's the best I've not one. not seen it. That's so fucking good. I, I'm Tobey Maguire nothing, dude. You know what? I've seen that movie ten times, I think. Which one? But The Into the Spider-Verse. But I, I've seen Joker ten times now. The last time that I watched it was at your house just recently. Yeah. Because I just I love the Joker movie. It's so awkward and weird. Yeah. Really when good. When he gets in the fridge. <laughs> I fucking love that. We are he's we're like, already did. He like pulls that thing and he's like, oh, I'm leaving it in. He yeah. gets in with it. <laughs> I, I totally can relate. I'm just like, I'm not fucking with it. I want to get in the fridge. So um, why does he get in the fridge though? Why does he get Why does it why does why does he not? I just want to know why though. Hey, like, what's going through his head? Here it is. Who knows what's going through it's his head? It's hot as fuck in here. That's, That's why. what I know. And B I'm getting in the fridge. Maybe it's just a place for him to decompress without anybody else Maybe. out in the outside world. <clears throat> Tell him to do anything. He's curled up in the ball like for it. I mean, he could have done that in multiple things. He could have got into a, you know, a dryer, you know. That's true. Like, just fucking laid in there. Uh, he could have done a lot of stuff. Um, So, Joker, which was actually our first episode, shout out. Yeah, that um, was our first episode. Wow. New Belgium. I remember we did New Belgium. Um, This is good. Um, is there any quarantine shows that are coming up on the radar for you that you're about to watch? Me? Yeah. There is uh, there is one that I haven't seen. I think it's called Quarantine, too. I think it's <laughs> actually called Quarantine. On Quarantine, I'm going to be watching. It's got the... Have you ever seen quarantine. Dexter? Oh. So the sister... Maybe four seasons of it. Maybe like three. I haven't finished it. I just got I, so tired of it. Maybe fucking almost all of it. <laughs> no, I, we saw so a lot you know of Deborah it. Deborah Morgan, uh, his sister in the show. Yeah, okay. A, let me give you some thoughts on Deborah Morgan then. Oh, God. Okay. Weird. Like, not weird and then, like, weird, but, like, weird as in, like, um, like, 
her body shape just doesn't work for me. Like, she has this weird body shape. It's like you want to be like, oh, you know, she's, you know, an attractive lady. She's kind of lanky. But she's she has this weird shape. She's just tall. I she's don't know. She's tall and slender. It was weird for me, the whole thing. Anyway, his sister, yes. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, his sister. I always just thought uh, it was weird. Yeah. Um, She's in the movie that I'm talking about, Quarantine. Okay. What What's it on? I have no fucking idea. I saw it a long time. I saw the, the trailer for it a long time ago, and I never saw it. <clears throat> I thought it would be awesome, but, yeah. you know, whatever. Oh, that's good. I'm going to have to. Uh... I wish, I really wish that we could go ghost hunting, and we just haven't really had the opportunity, even though I've got places that we can go that we just aren't going to be allowed to go there. Sure. Until they start opening places back the fuck up. Yeah, um... Let's just take one moment to, uh, what's the movie that came out on Disney uh, with the blue people? Avatar? No. New. Animated movie. Um, um, New? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Troll and Hunt Trolls. like Onward. Onward. We watched called? Onward, yes. Oh, you saw it? Yep. They come out with it on Disney uh, Plus, and and some of these uh, platforms are doing this now. That especially Disney because they have the platforms. There's no fucking because you can't go to the movie theater. To. Yeah, so I don't know if it killed them. Uh, we thought Onward was a good movie. Um, won't give anything up, and honestly, I don't remember a whole lot of the plot. Um, it was good though. It was like good movie, like good Disney movie. I'm gonna know? I'm gonna go watch it. It's good. It's a good yeah, Disney go movie, it. and it's definitely worth watching. Uh, it's good. It's fine. So uh, what? It's got bad reviews. No, it's got great reviews. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm just saying, I I'm, I I wonder how that's impacting Disney. You know, probably um, being you know they're they weren't they were they're just having to put it out through. What's the her app. What's her fucking name? The the bitch that runs it all now at Disney. Some oh. fucking middle aged fucking just I don't know bitch that looks like she's a pile of garbage. She looks no like clue. shit. No uh, clue. She's the one that fucked the whole Star Wars shit up. No. I don't know, but reason, whoever fucks Star Wars you know, up needs to You know to pay. that fucking... I, I heard that fucking Kylo Ren wasn't supposed to fucking, uh, spoiler alert, die at the end of the fucking newest movie. <clears throat> um, wasn't supposed to fucking die. It was supposed to be Babu Fring or whatever. They just had to make it up, like, from the was, second She movie. wanted... She didn't want any of the other original characters in there. And she wanted the new, best, most powerful Jedi to be a young female lead. The and fuck. so they took out fucking Adam Driver, who I'm sure this motherfucker has back problems from carrying the entire fucking three fucking trilogy, that trilogy, you know, on his fucking shoulders. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I shout out to you, Adam Driver, you poor fucking bastard. Hey, um. You got fucked out of your, well, one of your we best talked, roles. We talked about a lot of things. Yeah. Um. Oh. Um. You know, we're going to have to do a, a, a stand-up, um, let's do a stand-up comedy routine uh, one next time. Because we, we like a lot of stand-up. I like Tom Segura, uh, who actually has a new one out that's hilarious. Um, and a yeah, lot of other people who are now locked up. Louis C.K. Uh, Louis C.K., I don't give a fuck what you say. He's not a pedophile. And uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's never raped anybody. He's never raped anyone. Just raped their eyes and their brains. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever, dude. The guy, okay, big fucking deal. He likes to fucking watch. Let people watch him jerk off. Let people do that. Yeah, you change him to a Come chair. Come on, dude. You're He's gonna like, watch me. You're fucking, allowed to watch. He this. tapes their eyes it's open. It's Louis C.K., dude. He tapes their you're eyes not open. Be like, you're not gonna be like, Ugh, no. You're gonna be like, <laughs> fucking tapes their eyes open. Be like, you have to look <laughs> at he me. He puts them in a fucking chair. Like, what is that? Fucking clockwork <laughs> orange. Where they've got his fucking yeah. eyes like pulled tapes their open. eyes open, and then like they're trying to like look left and right, but he's got mirrors on every side. That's a fucked up movie. We could do Clockwork Orange. What is it? What's it on? Um, fuck, I don't even know what you'd watch on, but it's about like, like dystopian future where like oh, wow. gangs control shit. And, That's cool. But it's not what you're thinking. It's yeah. like in Britain and okay, man, <clears throat> it's right. it's a classic. It's a classic movie. The reason I'm trying to cut this short is because I have to use the men's room so bad. Go ahead. We won't stop. We don't uh, need to yet. What, what what time are we at? Right God, now? we're at least at 35 minutes. We're oh, trying we, to make this like 30. I would say we need to go to an hour. We need to try and make these an hour long hey, because find something to talk about. Just do it. I'm gonna go. On. I'm gonna go uh, use yeah, the facilities. Yeah, I can. Sure. <clears throat> yep. Just start going.
Oh, it's still rolling. All right, so well, go he's ahead. He's gonna use the. Uh, he's gonna oh. use the bathroom. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's just. This is Bryce's corner do, now. How do the hey, stars guys? sit hey. in one place for more than twenty seconds? I. And, I mean, usually they're not the pounding fucking alcohol. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're sitting in here. The goal of this show is to pound alcohol. So that's true. If anybody, if any of our viewers want to send us some uh, catheters, we'll be happy. Holy and, fuck! Or we'll or some yeah. or some enemas. Yeah, we'll be happy to insert those before <laughs> some the Some ten gallon enemas yeah. for us <laughs> to put fucking beer in, please. Butt chug. I'm dilated. Butt chug. Butt chug. <laughs> So this is Bryce's corner now, guys. So uh, let's talk. We talk movies. We talk TV shows. Uh, we talk ghost hunting. Sometimes, I guess uh, we've said it a couple times. Uh, go see. Go watch a Nukes Top Five on uh, on YouTube. Shout out to Nukes Top Five. Love that channel. Um, I want to talk about video games, though. Honestly, you know uh, what? What else is everybody doing the, uh, during the fucking quarantine? Um, yeah, that that's what I do. That fast, huh? You know, our restroom is convenient. <laughs> in the dark, in the grass. <laughs> right outside. So uh, uh, I was going to say uh, that some new video games coming out. Uh, new World. Go check that out. It's going to be on PC. Also, uh, Ark, I think, is getting an expansion, which is going to be awesome. Uh, Star Wars, the Old, the old Republic, is uh, going to 6.1.1. Uh, I, I think in two days it's getting its patch over. update. Um, if you guys play any of that, be sure to link it in the comments. Uh, I do play World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, you can link that if you want to play with me. Uh, I do Apex Legends sometimes. Mostly I play Morrowind on Twitch. You can go look me up at Syrup Bones yep. on S Twitch. Spell that out for him. Uh, S-Y-R-U-P-B-O-N-E-S. Um, it sounds <clears throat> like it spells. Yeah, so uh, spells like I, it sounds. I play a lot of Elder Scrolls online too uh, lately, just for the story. I haven't really done like dungeoning or shit like that, but you know, and that's why I play uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Bryce is the type of person to watch a porno for the story. You know what? I, <laughs> I have done that before. I have. They actually have some vi some of these videos that you can watch um, on YouTube, and it's the porno, uh, but with all of the porn not there. What do you mean? They just take out the they the porn's gone. The it's porn. all story. And they leave the story. They leave the story. And so it's uh, like fifteen minutes of story. Yeah. You know, versus the forty-five minutes of porn that was there before. Right. And they take out that. They go. It's to, a they whole cut to hour. The end. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They cut to and the end. You see end the end where they're, like, they're just like, "I love you," and it's like, now the most important oh, you can go parts. Back to your mom they now. do have them like cropped out or blurred. Oh, okay. Shit like that, totally blurred. So there's not even like. Got it. Yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. I didn't it know is. That it's so funny. That is so funny. Um, <laughs> uh, if you guys get a chance and you like superheroes, go watch the Injustice movie. It's just all the cutscenes. It's just all the cutscenes from the game of Injustice. Oh, okay. DC Injustice, which is one of the uh, story arcs hey, on is... an alternate Earth. It's really cool. I'm taking you out of video games for a second. When does Wonder Woman come back? Like Wonder Woman 2? DC? Oh, uh, so I'm pretty sure they're almost done filming, but they had to stop. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hey, speaking of uh, stop films, they had they ran into a huge uh, thing. We've talked about this before. Uh, oh. Scorsese's right. uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Right. A Paramount didn't want. I think it was Paramount Pictures did not want to film, didn't uh, Netflix, fund it. Didn't Netflix? Uh, there's to talk that he's there, he's trying to go to a streaming. Service Netflix with is it. Well, dude. If Netflix doesn't film Scors uh, fund Scorsese, who the fuck is gonna film him? Someone's gonna someone's gonna Netflix fund him. is giving these fucking this money out to just anybody. Yeah. And, and the like, thing oh, is, and the oh, thing yeah, is, yeah, yeah. if there's one recession proof business right now it's netflix mm -hmm. and and we've seen that right now i mean they're, they're stocks going for the roof <laughs> i mean pornhub went up like 40 percent. 40 percent. what do you invest an investor i wish <laughs> i fucking wish i was invested in that shit god i fucking wish well this has been fun um uh, king of beers is uh, um i guess first budweiser story do you have one of those you remember your first Budweiser? My first, yeah, I do. It was on a lake. Your first Budweiser, huh? It was on a lake. Yep, my very first uh, beer. Here's the funny thing: We're, my very first beer was a yeah. Rolling Rock. Yeah, and we've we've talked about that before. Oh yeah, and, have we? Uh, have we talked about that? Yeah, oh, we okay. had we had yeah, like my we had first Budweiser was. Uh, shout out to Garrett Lolly if you if you're shout out there watching Garrett, Garrett Lolly, yeah, uh, uh, on your dad's boat. 
behind his back drinking beer. <laughs> That's <laughs> we threw our cans off the side. That was yeah, I can't remember my first Budweiser. Um, Bud Light was my first beer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I remember that. Uh, I got, it took me an hour to get through one, which, you know, we've been one for 45 minutes. It's only was taking me an hour to get through this tall boy, but these things are so loaded. Um, yeah, that one was powerful, man. Yeah. Uh, and they're it really was, heavy uh, on your tongue. Bud Lights juicy. aren't, but when you haven't drank before, a Bud Light is heavy. <laughs> Let me tell you, this to me as a kid would have been so disgusting. It tastes like water now. It's so refreshing <laughs> as opposed to this fucking You're like, India nah, pale. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, India shit. IPAs are you getting more accustomed to them the more we're drinking them? Oh, I, I usually I usually had had them before. Yeah. But uh, not like the like. You're always a different beer guy. You've always got different beer, and I that's not something I'm used to. Is trying multiple beers and when, like, there was a time yeah. I'd come over here and he's just like, "Hey, I got a bunch of beer," and we're like, "I'm just like, okay." So we drink like eight different beers, yeah. all completely different beers, and uh, I mean, it's a treat uh, to kind of have. You know, there's not like any uh, loot boxes out there, like loot crates where you order it and beer comes to you. You know, it's not possible. You do it? That would be awesome, but we have to find a way to make it like Gary V uh, not get shaken does up. Does his and shit. wine thing? You know? Yeah, well, wine can get shaken up. You know. You can't shake beer up. It's carbonated. I don't uh, know. How to, I don't honestly, honestly don't know how you do that. Um, you have to have a really good delivery company. Uh, and, and basically, Personally, basically fucking... you would have to contract out to each major city. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, with different delivery. We'd companies. have to hire drone drivers. Yeah. That's what we would. That's not a bad idea. No. If we could contract all of them, that's the only problem, though. And they, they, their drones would have to meet certain specifications. And yeah. We'd have to test their pilot. They have to get a cert- certified license with us. And yeah. There's going to be some smart ass that just says, oh, this is how I would do it. Mm, yeah. And then we're just, yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. So yeah, That's no, the problem with remember. making a new business, too, is you make it, and then there's a smarter motherfucker out there who comes behind you and just like, oh, let me perfect it and yeah. run you out of business. <laughs> That's usually how it happens. I remember Bud Light Lime, okay, um, over at my buddy's house. He's um, looking, um, he's looking... Uh, over his neighbor's house who was gone. And his neighbor was paying him money. Um, and so he was, you know, just going over there and making sure everything is good. Um, doing a couple random chores, like not very much. So I go over there and he's like, uh, hey, I need to go over to my neighbor's house. We go over there. Very nice home. Um, has an outdoor kitchen, like like a patio, like a kitchen. Nice. Has two separate fridges out there. Very, very nice home. Um Anyway, has like a putting thing back there. Has oh, a pool. Shit. Has a tramp. You know, has everything. Damn, this guy's loaded. Yeah, cool, nice, great, great. Um, and so he's over there doing something. I noticed someone in the fridges, and I'm a high schooler, right? I haven't <laughs> drank very much at all, and I noticed they have Bud Light limes in there, and I like Bud Light lime at the time. I I could probably drink it right now, honestly. Yeah, it's really refreshing. I mean, it could, it's a- like it's like a mow your yard beer. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's There's a, a lot call. of those beers. Yeah. Um, Modelo. And so I, anyway, we left. No problem. We were sitting around at his house. I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just crash here for the night. And uh, uh, I finally, I go, okay, well, I'm going to go over there and get two of those beers and pound them. So I just hopped the back fence. Did you not <laughs> tell him? No, because he, he he wasn't really into that, and he don't even oh, trouble. Man. You know what I'm saying? What a square! Well, you know, whatever. I understand. He he wasn't really into him. I don't. High schoolers, come on! You're dr- you're trying yeah. to steal beer. And, and so shit. we get over there, or I get over there, not we. And I grab one of the Bud Light limes, go crush it. Grab another one, crush it, and then just take them. I don't know what I did with them. I like threw them in some storm drain, and walk back over to the house that I, his house. So I walk back in there, no problem. Well, they caught wind of me doing something. And they were like, hey, blah, blah, blah. You didn't take any of those beers, did you? Blah, 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 blah. Because I think he saw me reaching the beers. Like, or like, like, look at them before. I was like, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You know, he's like, okay, well, he checks and he's got people in trouble before that have watched his house. Like, he fucking watched Oh, come on. Them. I'm like, come on, dude. This is your friend. Yeah, my best buddy. And, uh, oh, fuck and so off, like, fuck. best buddy, if you're listening. It, nah. Fuck yeah. you, best fuck, buddy. Fuck you. Love you, too. <laughs> yeah, love you, too, dude. You. Um, anyway, so I was like, fuck. So 
So I texted the one person the next day, and he's like, he checked, no, anyway, so he goes, he checks his beers. He's like, he has filed lawsuits against people who take, I was like, lawsuits against two beers. Okay, whatever. I'm a high schooler. I don't know any better. I was like, fuck. So I texted one person, which happened to be a teacher at the school that I was at, who I knew. I'm in high school. She teaches at that high school. I texted her. I said, hey, I need some shit. And the reason that I knew this teacher was because her brother was somebody who I played on the baseball team with. Okay. And so I knew her. She had gotten me beer before. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. So (laughs) I text her the next morning and go, where are you at? She's like 30 minutes away in another town. I was like, cool. I'm coming coming to see you. So I go, I go, she goes and gets me up like a, you know, 12 pack of Bud Light Lime. I get the Bud Light Limes, put them in my car, drive back to his house, just like 30 fucking minutes away, like 45 minutes away. Everything's so far in Dallas. Like, it's so far. Fuck you, Dallas. I park not at, not by his house, because his house is directly across the street from their house that he was, baby, he was uh, sitting. Right. I park at the top of the street, walk over there. Like sneakily go around and hop the fence with these two beers in my fucking hand, jump over there, open the fridge, pop the two Bud Light Limes right back in the fridge, hop back over, done. Jesus Christ, what a mission for nothing, Mission, dude. but at least I gained 10 beers out of it because I think I got a 12-pack. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, you got 10 beers. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of heart-wrenching, and I it's something I shouldn't have done. <sighs> Um, well, I mean, looking back, it's hilarious. Back then, it was not hilarious to me. It was a big deal. Well, first of all, let me just say this. Yeah. If I was the homeowner and some high schooler, I was like, hey, I'm going to pay you money to watch my house. Yeah, but he didn't and know when he was my, bringing buddies over. When my know? wife walks away, I'd be like, hey. Oh, my God. And a story got, about his wife, too. I've got Hold up. beer in my fridge. You're welcome to it. Uh-huh. Like, why the fuck wouldn't you give a high schooler beer? Come on. It's like... This guy. Just be responsible. Don't get fucking fucked up and go wandering into the street. I met the guy before because I've been over to their house so many times. Right. I was really close with my buddy. And where where is this guy at? Where where are they uh, located? This is Flower Mound, Texas. Okay. I lived in Carrollton, Texas. Gotcha. All in the DFW area. Ugh. Right on. Excuse me. Ooh. That um, was good. That's not any good. This guy used to come over and brag to my buddy's dad that the wait a minute the 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 guy the guy that was paying him to watch his house. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I've met him before, not very, like, once or twice. Sure. He used to come over and brag to his buddy's dad that his wife had this, um, he paid for his wife's pair of fake tits, and they looked so good. And he would come over all the time and be like, yeah, she got a pair of fake tits. Like, he would, like, say it. It's like, you know what, motherfucker? Don't bring the information. Take a fucking picture. Like, get some balls. Show me that shit. How good are and they? sure, his wife, <laughs> a good-looking person, right? But it's just hilarious Was that, she, like, a MILF? Um... When I was in high school, I, you know, I couldn't say this on a podcast, uh, but uh, she was very good looking um, for a high schooler back in the day. Uh, hmm. Not as good looking as as is mine right now. So um, hilarious. The whole thing was just funny that I really took beer and replaced two, um, or maybe one or two. I don't maybe uh, maybe it was only fucking one. I don't remember because it's not like I had that much time to drink well, it. Well, regardless, you replaced the beer. Yeah. And I was like, there we go. Imagine if he did, though. Imagine if he, he did check he them and like, he checked the dates yeah, and shit, He goes, dude. I fucking know. That wasn't in the same pack. <laughs> no shit. You see this Bud Light lime? It's a little bit the green on the lime part. I had them turned this way. Yes. And uh, listen, yeah. you little fucker. Isn't that fucking crazy? That would but, be like, crazy. to me, that was a huge deal in high school, <laughs> you know, because I never got in trouble, you know. I wasn't somebody who, who caused trouble. I, you know, my buddy that I was with. Great family, like a second family to me, and uh, I was just trying to stay out of trouble, so I went and uh, made it happen. That's so funny. My, For me, one of my friends felt in like high it felt like a super bad show. Anyway. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, exactly. One of my friends in high school, we did that kind of shit. We, uh, I don't know. He, he was, he was. His parents were very wealthy, you know. And I'd go and stay at his house, and there was just. <laughs> You know, you shit that uh, I didn't yes. understand. You know, I didn't understand. Like the what? Shit. Like the granite countertops in their house, the fucking eight bathrooms. There's Jesus. Just crazy shit. The nice ass cars. The dad just like we walk out in the back porch, and uh, you know, I came over to my buddy's house to just whatever swim, and his freaking older like seventeen year old sister comes out in a bikini. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> the dad's <laughs> handing me a beer, and I'm like, what is happening? I'm coming over here every day. Yeah, dude. exactly. Yeah, and so. You know, we would we would go me and him, we would go around this super rich neighborhood 
that he lit that his parents lived in, and we would steal cigarette butts out of the fucking. I don't know. We were like. 13, 14. Yeah, 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 we were like 13. We had to be like 13 or 14. But we'd be stealing cigarette butts out of the fucking trays around these fucking houses. And we would come back with fucking like a full cigarette pack full of just cigarette butts. And we'd just smoke them all. Just sit there. We weren't even inhaling it or anything. Just imagine if the coronavirus was in those. God damn. Let's go around and do I that now. I would have died. I would have been yeah. dead. Yeah. And then... I remember one of my jobs <laughs> in, 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 in college. Um, um, won't go into an adept, but... Uh, yeah, no, it's okay. I'm going to any depth. I'm good. Are you just gonna nothing? No, I'm good. It's an off. Uh, there was a combo. there was a time we were hunting cigarettes down. This Mexican guy saw us. He was mowing lawns or something. Um, oh, that's but racist. That's sorry. I'm yeah, sorry that the guy knows exactly how to make really good money with the <laughs> lawn mowing business. I know. I'm glad that you know how to cut a lawn better than anybody in this whole fucking world. I'll tell you right now. Stephanie yeah. is Hispanic and she cuts a lawn better than me. Really? No. Oh. No, she's a woman. She can't do shit right. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, she this, can't. She's a woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not sexist. Uh, um, no, but just a little This bit. Mexican guy sees us stealing cigarette snipes off of people's fucking, you know, things. And he just, I guess one day he saw us. One day he comes to us and just hands us a full pack of cigarettes and a lighter. He's like, here you he go, He told fuck. us, too. He's like, don't steal them. And he's like, just here, smoke these. If you're going to smoke them. Smoke them. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just like. Okay, so What's we just did. That's about exactly what funniest we did. cigarette story was not when my cigarettes got found when I was a senior in high school and if I could start buying them when my parents <laughs> were like, "What the fuck are these?" And I said, "I don't know. Can you give them back?" To I've me? heard. I've heard that you're still ruled by your parents a little bit. Like they're when you go over there, their their ideals still like. Uh, hold, well, I mean, I try you. to hold true. You know. Okay. You know, I just want to be a good person. You know. I'll I'll be honest with you. The person I am right now is the person I am with my parents. That's great. Yeah. I, I can't. Well, not. I'm I'm that person for the most part. I just you know I just try to certain things at the house. You know I just want to respect their house. I, I at my house in front of Stephanie in front of you or Krista I joke about you know an eight month year old baby being used as a flashlight. Yeah. Mm. I use that That's same hot. joke at my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Take that joke and use it at my parents. Because it's not, it's 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 stupid. You know, yeah. the the reason that I make shit that I I make shit funny, yeah, is because uh, it's not funny, but it's to make it it's to lessen you know the blow for my mind, sure. Because I can't deal with shit like that. Like uh, unless it's like ISIS. Say I'm joking about ISIS and I'm making fun of them. Making fun that's of that's the ISIS. Oh, if I'm doing that, it's to, it's because they don't deserve to be taken Allah seriously. Allah. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. Yeah. ISIS is a joke. They don't deserve to be taken seriously. That's what I mean by that, yeah. you know. Just, I don't know. And uh, uh, I respect that, going home to your parents and being able I to uphold respect their rule. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't exactly. even say they're rules. I mean, you your know? parents are, I mean, your dad's pretty nice. I didn't really talk to your mom very much. Oh, yeah. Well, they're nice. They're, they're nice folks, and I just respect, I just try to respect what they got going on there. And, are they uh, pretty religious? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah, that's totally, uh, well. Right on. They're not religious, they're Christian. There's a difference. Oh, okay, my bad. If you ask a Christian, oops, Christianity isn't a religion; it's a way of life. Well, I've had a lot of Christians tell me that I'm "quote unquote" lost. Oh, so, okay. That's not really fair for me to. But uh, anyway, yeah, yes, they're very uh, uh, um, enlightened. Really? Yeah. So, uh, but it's no, it's no problem because I, I went to a private Christian school. No problem. And honestly, Did you really? yeah. And I, I, I would, I would that. not trade it um, for the world. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't go to a public school. And the reason I did is because my mom teaches at one. So um, I'm sure she just brought home horror stories, huh? No, no. I mean, she taught at multiple places before she ended up at a Christian school. Oh, okay. Uh, tons of, I mean, high schools and things like that. Funny story. She's teaching in Plano, uh, Texas. Uh, at a at a school, some kids um mouth off to her and tell her you know fuck you or something. They say something like that to her, like in class. And wow. this is back in the day when you wouldn't get in trouble for doing something to a student. So she the the kids uh uh they uh are black. And the reason I say that is because she grabbed their afros. So wow, if you know you want to put two and two together, I, maybe they're white kids with afros, but I doubt it. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. They mouth off to she her. She grabbed These, them by the I hair. Think it, was, it was two football players, I think. And uh, they weren't doing something. They were mouthing off to her. She grabbed them by their hair, like fucking by their hair, like two of them, and fucking pull them into the uh, principal's office and fucking took them in there 
Wow. I was like, that's awesome. But another one told her, uh, do not follow that that kind of idealism. Guys. Yeah, I was Don't like, Mom, students. you know you would get fired if you did that. I'm today. just going to tell you straight up, if a teacher grabbed me by the hair, I would have knocked that teacher yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, Mom, you know you, know, got, you, you, know you could have got fired for that today. You know, fi- like, I think fired would have been, what if they jumped get a lawsuit, her because dude. of, what if she, they attacked her? She just fucking you drug know? him in there, and it was no problem. Uh, she had <clears> another <throat> one um, say, like, fuck you to her face. <laughs> Like, like she, she's a theater teacher, and they're in the back, like, doing something. He's like, you know, fuck you. And she said she did something fucking crazy, and I don't know what it was. But I was like, that would never stand in high school, like, now. But, like, back then, it's like pulling out the switch and just hitting your fucking kids with it. Something oh, like yeah. that. You no know, shit. she didn't hit them with the switch, but. Um, fuck, my mom used to make us go pick the switches that she got. For, dude, we'd go to these fucking. It. Go you know find a switch. Up? Yeah, we'd go pick a switch, and, and we'd be like, we're going to pick this thin little dainty thing. And we're like, yeah, that's what's gonna do it. And my mom, my mom would be like, you picked a thin one, you fucking idiot. She'd fucking pull our leg, our pant legs up, and just, and then just be these fucking red lines, just, just not there when she hit us, and then instantly just appear. It's like, yeah, you'd have to get the fat one. Yeah, dude. bro. Then I just bring her sticks like this. I'm like, go ahead and beat me with this fucking rotted stick, you dumb bit. I love you, mom. Yeah, don't beat me with that little bitty thing, <clears throat> and then make these little yeah, exactly. marks all over me. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, we got off on a tangent, but uh, Ozark, beer. Well, I mean, the, altered the carbon. The whole point was to talk about altered carbon, Ozark, and everything else was video just kinda, games. Yeah, video games. High school, first time that you tried a Budweiser beer, and now we're here. Yeah. Um, toward the end of the show. Um, the Not at the end. Let's. Um, uh, there was there was something I wanted to. Uh, Budweiser. Um, no. The possibility of the perks of being doing the Ouija board. Should we do that on air? I want to do it right now. (laughs) I'll be honest with you. I want to do it right fucking now, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I know where it's at. Um, we can do it on the next episode, hundred percent. Okay, so let's. Here's the other thing. We need to get the wheel. Right. Let's let's not really get into that though. Indeed. I just kind of want to introduce it. Yeah. Just kind of like. You know, throw it into the next episode. Um, oh, man. Holy crap. What time is it? Is it like midnight? No, wait. It can't be midnight, is it? It can't even be like 10. Is it 10? Is it 11? It's 8. <laughs> it's fucking 8, you nuts. Sweet. That, isn't that a good feeling when you realize you didn't waste your whole day Let's go. Let's shit? go 20 more minutes on here. I yeah. want I want something really to edit, and I'm only saying that because I want to see how uh, how consistent we can be with coming up with stuff. Yeah, no problem. Um, we could go all day. So let's. Um, hey, doesn't that make you laugh seeing our heater over there in the corner and being like, <laughs> "Damn, like <laughs> it's summer, you dude!" Know? And we couldn't get. <laughs> I wanted. Uh, we cannot get that light. Thing. Yeah, let me do show it. This thing. So. This is the that. propane tank that we had. And yeah. We were trying to light this fucker for so long. We finally got it lit, and it was nice and toasty in here. Fucking open the door. And yeah, yeah. Or you could like blow wind. You could you could pass gas. Anything. If you sneezed in here, that thing would gone. It would go out so yeah. quick. I saw. I, I mean, saw it worked her. really good. Yeah, there was it, just something. something it worked something okay. With it. I don't know why. How much battery life we got on this? Um, I don't know, man. Fuck. Um, we're good. It's okay. Oh. Like Ooh. Um, what else, man? Do what else have you been watching? Who, who else have you been following? Uh, do you uh, like late night interviews and hosts? That is something that I binge okay. on YouTube a lot. You're talking about like Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. David Letterman. <clears throat> well, not anymore. Uh, Come on, you don't watch reruns of David Letterman? No, because I, I know would. that he fucked his staff. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, man. That's cool. He's it's a okay. national treasure, dude. Uh, actually, I did. I did after he got off the air. He had a Netflix special with Barack Obama, and basically interviewed Barack Obama for like an hour. And David Letterman grew out this huge fucking. Beard. Oh, I remember this. He up, I remember. He the grew beard. out a giant beard, and he yep. was basically. The, it was on a. He had his like head shaved and yeah. a giant beard. Okay, yeah. Actually, a good, very good interview. Uh, really, I actually watched a good amount of you that. You know what? I love Barack Obama. <clears throat> He just came in at a bad time. That was his problem. He was a great president. He just did well, and that's why uh, that I think, and I don't want to get too much into politics, but you see Joe Biden, that is uh, now the Democratic nominee, right? Uh, or I don't know. I, I think I'd vote for Biden. Well, hundred percent. Fuck that guy who's up there right now, dude. I, I mean, think I'd vote for Biden, honestly. 
I, I like Bernie Sanders, yeah. but I know he touches girls and did that thing. To, <laughs> so Joe Biden just he does this weird thing where he sniffs people and like. People. No, I know. Oh, so, I know. <laughs> but uh, well, alleged, alleged. Ale- my ass, alleged. <laughs> most, like, we've seen him do it. We've seen his ass doing it. But uh, he just got nothing. accused of sexual assault back from about thirty years ago, uh, when some girl was some type of uh, aid. On something, you know, while he was a, I don't know, um, I don't, I don't. Anyway, right. got yeah. accused from something that happened a long time ago. Just so happened to have gotten accused right when he was. Oh, that's strange. But mm, wow, you know, to be fair, there are Republicans like the guy who got sworn in as the just or the ju- not justice uh, Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah, Kavanaugh. that guy who allegedly did something to girls when he was a fraternity back in the eighties. Allegedly, yeah. You Which, know he just, like, fucked drunk bitches. That had to okay. be it, right? But the creepiest thing that I've seen currently is a picture of President Trump with who uh, Epstein back in, you know, whenever, back in the day, hanging out with a girl who's, like, way underage. And Epstein is known to, or is accused yes, of doing things with girls who are underage. Yeah. And him and Epstein are hanging out with this girl who you know. How I mean, old are we talking? 15, 14, you know, young. And anyway, it's wow. wild. There's you a photo what? of Epstein I and cannot Trump. believe what I'm hearing. Trump has my hero, dude. I look up to him. <laughs> stop. I'll stop laughing. Go, even go ahead. A, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. Hey. He is my hey. hero. How dare you slander him? Budweiser. Get out. Budweiser. Get up. Front and center. Yeah, can we get a? Can we please? Uh, and not to understate this book at all, it's Carson probably great. Stashwick. But can we? Can we please get a sponsorship by Budweiser? Yeah. If, if you're looking for somebody to sponsor Budweiser, we we hate Trump. Make beer great again. We blend babies up in yeah. blenders and drink them. Yeah. We're a good person. You we know, don't we're care a, we're what good, anyone like, says. Person system here. Yeah, we don't care what anyone says. Budweiser, you could run over children and then murder their moms. And we would not care. That's a really good catchphrase for Budweiser. You know what? If you guys are going to use that, at yeah. least at least uh, give us some royalties from it. Seriously. Budweiser. <laughs> we run over children. We or... kill your parents. And then fuck you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can you imagine some Budweiser person just coming in, murdering your parents, Budweiser and Budweiser for you? president. Make America great again. Job growth. You know, this, this took a dark turn. Huh? This this podcast took a pretty dark turn. Yeah, it did. But it's true. Uh, and we're just talking about, like, poli- that's the whole premise is we came into politics and we know how evil they actually are and the government Have you hiding House shit. Of cards? I. Also, before I go any further, Kevin Spacey, I know. He's I know, I know. I, I was going to watch it. I was going to start watching it. And, then Kevin and Sp- now it's just like, fuck. Like, I have to watch that guy? You know? I love Kevin Spacey too. I okay. love him. In you like should fucking K-Pax watch it though. Watch shit. it though. Watch it though. At least watch like the first episode. Okay, I don't like, love Kevin Spacey. Do you love Kevin Spacey? I think in the he's first good though. He's You'll good. I didn't like him in Baby Driver. Have you seen Baby Driver? Um. Yes. Who's cursing? Who's calling you? Uh, let me answer. Let me do it right now. It's actually nine fifty. Oh. No. Bye. Oh. So I didn't feed the dogs. Wow. Uh, but yeah, we're actually at nine fifty. <sighs> You're basically Satan. Yeah. You didn't feed the dogs. Wow. Did okay, I? Okay. Uh. I don't know. How many? How no, many I seconds didn't. are we in? We're at least an hour in. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. We can't even tell until until we're done. That's that's. Do you want to close it out for? That's us? trash. We should be able to fucking see how what what our time is. Uh, there's no telling, man. Why can't you just turn that into minutes, dude? Damn it! Woo! I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. It is crazy. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Thanks yeah. for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll be back next time. We got a couple of surprises. We don't know how we're going to do them yet. Surprise, but surprise, mother. We're um, yeah. We'll think about it. Um, yep. 
Make sure to go uh, hit the smiley face button down there. Like and subscribe. Hey, you know what I don't like that happened with YouTube recently? Uh, in the app, if you use the YouTube app on your phone, they move the comments up above the, you know, if, when, when you're watching a video and you scroll up, like if you, ha- if you haven't made the video big yet, expanded mm. it, you can scroll down and see the like videos, videos that are very similar to the video you're sure. watching. Or not very similar, just based on your interests and your watches. Used to be that you would scroll all the way down until it got past the comments um, thing, and you and then we get to the comments. Now the comments are actually at the top, right under the subscribe button. So if you want to leave one of those or read all the funny ones, uh, they'll be on there. You have to, it, it changed a little bit. So just uh, in in what YouTube will say is we've moved the comments, blah blah blah, and you go up here. Mm. So. Um, I don't I actually, as a user, don't love that. They'll probably move it back. Probably just because, you know. I don't know. Everyone anyway. just loves the UI because it's what they fucking know. Why change? Well, it's not broken. They'll fix it. Tick you tock, know? tick tock. Hey, uh, you also have a tick tock. Right, I, do, I, do I do have a tick tock, yeah. It is very funny. Spocker XX, S P O C K E R X X. X. Three X's. Three X's. Yeah, Spocker XXX. Um, yep. Yeah, go. Uh, Whatever. Uh, leave comments here. Leave yeah, comments there. Yeah, if you there. have any funny ideas, he'll fucking do them for the most part. Pretty much. Yeah, like, I'm open, Honestly, I'm open I would anything. personally give this man an enema with no problem. Uh, just like, you know how you siphon gasoline? That's yeah. going to be the enema. He's just going to siphon it through his asshole. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, peace. Yeah, y'all have done? a great uh, whatever. Stay safe. Have Don't great cough on anybody. Make sure to wash your hands and shit. Go down, like, this, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fuck you. (laughs) And that's the end of the video. One, two, three.